One man is subscribing to multiple women's OnlyFans and then sending the nudes to their fathers. Carefully, he's a hero. Imagine being so mad you spend money and support the thing that you hate. Hello, and welcome back to r slash incel tier. Serious. Women should no longer be able to file for unemployment. In 2020, every female can effectively make at least 100000 a year by opening an OnlyFans account. Corona has really made this clear over the past few months. Female unemployment from now on is forever a zero percent. Women should no longer have human rights. These aren't hordes of rich people walking around in Walmart. The women have to work too. They aren't millionaires, no, but they're providing. Women will date Chad even if he doesn't work. Women will only date ugly guys when there's something on offer. You people will say anything to avoid taking responsibility for your own happiness. Yeah, cause you know, whoever points a finger at themselves. The way we talk about holes here is the same way your average hole talk about men. The difference is that while they can trash us non-stop and never suffer any consequences, we will lose our job if we have any, and all career prospects by saying the exact same stuff about them. Every single time I stalked a hole on Facebook, I would quickly see some post being shared about how all men are shot and how women are oppressed. It is disturbing how common it is. While more than half of men are simps and who worship women and will do everything to defend them both on the internet and also IRL, women are the trashing all men, these simps included. These wholesomes never lose any friends, a job, or even have a mean comment in their feed for hating on men 24-7, maybe because their stuff doesn't involve bullets. It's over. drive through workers should be required to give you a kiss if you ask. Excuse me, why? So many times, I go through the food and there's some cutie pie working at the drive through window and I just wish I could get a hug or a kiss to or touch her hair. But it will never happen, and so I just say thanks, get my card and food and drive off. Their Faug's nice act is just a Jewish plot to get us to spend more- sorry, what? Alright, you know what, explain your answer on that one. How is this a Jewish plot? Gray cells will never be able to catch up, it never even began. Even if you you started out now and grinded, you will never be able to catch up to the highest, most prestigious posters on incels.co. Unless you post 24-7 and do not sleep, it will be impossible. Incels on average will grind this website about 12 to 16 hours a day and post as much as they can. You will never be able to mog anyone except for people who joined after you or lazy cells. But lazy cells are running out as more incels are grinding now. It's over for gray cells. Why did you even sign up? It never began. Congratulations, you gatekeeping yourself. Nice community. Serious, I have a 10 out of 10 brain. <laughs> Serious? I think I legit might be the most mentally stable person to ever exist. Literally immune to mental illness, cannot ever feel depressed or, for example, average to slightly below average IQ with superior critical thinking and analytical abilities, actually have an engineering degree, finished in like the top 5% in both high school and college, hyper aware of everything, even my own flaws, literally understand that some of the shot I post is vile and wrong, but the bottom line is it doesn't matter, so I don't care. Insane level of self-control, zero addictions, never needed meds, quit watching off-brand called Turkey, and can quit posting on this forum on demand. Brain-wise and mentally, I'm literally the ideal human. But all of it is pointless and meaningless. I wish I could be a mentally ill Chad who shoots up heroin and commits rope at the frat party because he cannot control himself like an animal. Oh, okay, so you said you can leave the forum whenever you want. Oh, uh, wait, yeah, that's whenever you want. Have you ever known a Void that actually has a good personality? For Void standards, I've only known one. She had good taste in music and stuff, but unfortunately, she was the biggest freaking slut, and also she 
blocked me because she couldn't swallow the dot pill. What the frick is the dot pill? I told my mother to get the frick out of the kitchen while I'm kneading on her pension. She's farting all the time near food and even in the kitchen too and I couldn't stand her farting when I'm right next to her preparing my food. So I told her to get the frick out and she did lamau. Of course, she went full rage mode and tried to argue with me saying I can't tell her this because it's her house because I don't work blah blah who cares you won't fart near my food and from your little butt steady fart history we both know you're capable of that I kept screaming at her saying how she should go out of the kitchen because she's farting on my food and finally she probably got ashamed and left Alpha or not alpha? I'll take things that didn't happen for 500, Alex. Thank you. IT clocks are not necessarily stupid, just in denial. This is why you don't argue with them. So, the human collectiveness is an enemy to ugly males since the dawn of times. We've lived this experience since our puberty, if not our childhood. There's no need of black pills, paper, statistics, and such. We know that being ugly is shoddy, and what role has society for us lonely and mocked people or at best beta boxers if you are ugly you live a shoddy childhood slash puberty and then you go through the motions in your adult life until you die alone or divorce not gonna say that if you go outside you see hot teens together with nerds probably shutted in their houses if you see an ugly person it's probably some boomer that has no dignity left or he has just nothing else to do if you watch medias, you will see beautiful people arguing about nothing, being famous because of their looks, because there would be thousands of people capable of doing whatever they do that remains in the shadows just because they are not good looking enough. You have hundreds of examples that depicts ugly people with the connotation of being creepy or suicidal, or simply goofy. I was thinking about Mo and Milhouse from The Simpsons, but it's just an example. If you watch couples with him being ugly, his wife is probably flirty with other man and slash or he's a cluck because within the ugly package comes the small to average dong one. Bulls are good looking guys with big dongs, clucks are average looking guys with average to small dongs. That's because you can't please a woman with an average dong despite all of the the coochie is only so deep so blah blah bullshit. At your workplace you will see hot women making a career just by being flirtatious with managers or messing around with them. You will see the good-looking men talking to the good-looking women with the others orbiting around some average females. We all know that we could literally go hours with this kind of examples, and we don't need them. We don't need a single one when we talk about the ugly male experience. We understand each other at the speed of thought, and it's not necessary necessarily to add anything. So, after all this big premise, why I don't argue with clucks anymore? Because clucks are the best copers. As the title says, they are not necessarily stupid and they can be very proficient in their field. Believing the blue pill is just lying to yourself. The entire life strategy of a cluck revolves around being in denial. Because being faced with all the shot I've described above as an ugly male leaves you with two choices. Choices. You either accept and surrender to reality, leaving yourself to despise women because they cause frustration in you for something out of your control, your looks, or you just go in denial mode and become someone that a woman will inevitably settle with, and you do that until she divorced, not gonna say that again, you or you, having your inadequacy due to your looks and a small dog weighing on you, and decide to participate in cluck activities and we all know how it ends. There is no point to showing statistics or facts to a cluck. It's like trying to put a cat into a bathtub. For a cluck, especially if he's engaged or married, it's extremely dangerous to accept even a small piece of the black pill, because by doing that, his entire way of coping would crumble in an instant. A cluck's life is just this, deny, 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 until things crumble and then you become some angry boomer that resents women. But but there are clucks that keep pedestalizing women even in that case, blaming themselves for such a terrible situation. 
when a clock reads something about the block pill, he is so eager to call names on the block pilled person, turning passive aggressive, disprove the evidence, and going into nonsensical laughter mode because it's the only reaction he can possibly have to being exposed to the block pill and maintaining his sanity. They are not always bad people, just weak. When a clock tries to bully you, remember that behind that screen there's probably a fat, stubby man with a beard with an average so small dong that resorts to that just because what you say hurts him and he bullies you under the pretense that you're some sort of terrorist or robust murderer uh, while we are just lonely guys that vent on the internet sometimes by shot posting and spent their lives shutted in their house seriously I can go on Google News type in incel and uh, counter that oh of course all this applies to men just discards whatever women say about the matter they are different from us and they push the cluck agenda in their favor women wants beta males only to whine about how true men disappeared just for laughs trans equals women so they do not count too so just take this into consideration all of that big brain effort all of that time to make that big story and that's what you use your life for Nice. If I had control of the world, yeah, just what these creeps need, the Infinity Gauntlet, the world would be a much better place. No more sports where chads win millions for knocking out chadlets. All that money would go towards science. No more feminism, no wholesoming. Slot shaming would not only be condoned, but encouraged. Clocks would be hunted down like heretics during the Inquisition. Boys would be taught never to copy a man and to stay in the kitchen. A man Men would be taught to respect people only when respect is mutual, and that foys don't deserve unconditional respect. We would worship saints of inseldom, and the block pill education would replace Ed. Uh, rubbers and birth control pills would be banned, and food will be injected with testosterone to make an army of alpha males. I was walking in the park and this girl walking her dog smiled at me. I was working out and decided to lightheartedly socialize a bit when I saw her smile at me. I walked up and said, Dang, cute little thing, aren't you? Her smile just dropped at the thought of me being so direct. She looked a bit disgusted. I told her to relax because I was talking about her puppy, to which she got even more disgusted and pissed off at, as if I was saying that her dog deserved to be called cute, but not her. You can't win. Out of the loop. You have no idea just excluded you are how not in the loop you are. In my high school senior year, I tried tried to social circle max, which failed, but I got a few hints and tastes of how the situation was, which I was locked out of. Never forget, all throughout high school and university, foids are doing drugs and partying and fricking guys who didn't ever play sports or work out or self-improve. While you spent your teen years endlessly exercising, starving yourself, no fap, etc., skinny, fat, and athletic, drug addict, and lazy chads were plowing through all the girls your age. And then you're exposed to pay your life savings for these wholesomes after. Never marry. You're the biggest idiot on the planet if you do. Don't underestimate just how out of the loop you are. Normies all got together and excluded you from everything. They decided to not invite you to anything, to not every allow you affection, to exclude you from basic human Decency. You should 100% hate them and be angry at them and wish they were dead because they have been knowingly excluding you from everything. While they were all partying and being buddy-buddy with each other and fricking one another, they knowingly decided you're not shot and you're not worthy of being included that and that you should rot alone instead. They are your enemies. You should wish dead. They are your enemies and you should cry tears of joy when one of them dies. Alrighty, that's gonna have to be it with a video. If you would like to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the channel, like the video, comment down below what you liked about the video, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.